Hey guys, welcome back. So today's going to be the maths video. Yeah, everyone's favourite subject, maths. I hated maths so much. It's not a joke. Sadly though, <laughs> it was probably one of my best subjects and I really have been putting off doing this video, if I'm honest with you, because I... I'm really sorry to say, I just did not revise for maths very much at all. I really didn't. I, I, it was a subject that really just came really easily to me and I know, I know that it doesn't come easy to a lot of people. It, it is one of those subjects that you either get it or you don't. I was really blessed to have got it. But I would just like to say before I start this video that from what I've seen in the comments, a lot of you are extremely stressed about maths and I can see why because you need to pass it, the government says that you need to pass it. Please don't stress yourself out about it too much. I know it's difficult and I know that if you don't understand it, it can be so hard and so daunting to try and get to grips with it. But you can and you will make progress if you just keep at it. Please don't try and avoid it, but please don't let it consume your life and ruin the rest of your subject. You need a C to pass. If you're not planning on taking it at A level, you're not planning on a career in maths, just get that C and move on. Like, it's really not that like you don't need it okay as much as people try and tell you that you need it if you've got a pass in maths that's all you need if you ever go into a job where you need to do math it'll be with a calculator it will be unless you're going into like obviously like quantum physics engineering or whatever but just don't worry about it please i i know it's easier said than done but i really don't remember any time where i was remotely stressed about maths just because i knew that i didn't need it so what i got in it really didn't matter to me um please just don't just don't worry about it i know i keep saying this i just want to drill that home before i start telling you anything that i ever did to revise maths i didn't revise for it a lot i know that some people are gonna have to revise more than me but please don't let it ruin your other subjects if you want to take history at a level please put the time into history not into maths so that being said i'm just gonna go through a few things that i did for maths i feel like this is gonna be the shortest video ever because i really don't have that many revision techniques for maths but I'm just gonna go from what people have told me that they've done and like what I do this is not for A level I'm not even gonna put A level in the title for this one because the people <laughs> at my school that do maths for A level are like they're like me like they just don't revise for it so I can't help you with A level maths but for GCSE I have a few you know tips and tricks that I'm gonna, gonna tell you so my main thing for maths and I know this is gonna be like you're just gonna be like Eve why i know this practice practice okay i know with the new spec you need to learn your formulas and i'm going to go on to that in a bit but with maths like i said last week with languages you just need to practice it's all well and good looking in your revision guide being like right yeah yeah graphs yeah know that you know the theory you need to be able to apply it that's the issue with maths, many people struggle because they don't know what the question is asking them. And I always found that with further maths. I was like, okay, cool. If you'd just told me it was differentiation, I would have known what to do. But they don't tell you that. So you need to practice. There are many ways in which you can do this. And I'm going to tell you them now. <laughs> Past papers. If there is any subject, any subject ever, that you need to do past papers for, it's math. And don't give me any of that. Oh yeah, we have a new spec. Like, no use the old ones please i know it won't have everything on it i know that and i understand that just use them please and use the specimens use the exemplar papers use all the resources that aqa have put on their website and practice with those resources because they are the most valuable for maths i did every past paper for maths that was literally all i all i did to revise so please just do the past papers i just did them as i went along from like March onwards and trust me you'll get in the exam you'll be like hey I've done a question like this before I know what it's asking me thank me later another really useful way to revise maths with practice use your textbook questions if you haven't done them in the lesson then you can do them for revision go through your textbook go through the areas that you're weakest on do the practice questions if you don't understand ask your teacher you know just really be proactive with it if you don't if you get it wrong don't sit there and be like oh I can't do it Go to your teacher, be like, hey, I did these questions on like cos graphs and I just got all of them wrong. Can you please explain to me why? With maths, you need to be able to understand it and you need to know it. You can't just like learn it and hope that it's right. So focus on your weakest areas, do textbook questions. Also get the revision guide, but get the revision and practice guide. Don't get the normal revision guide because this comes not only with past papers in the back, but also questions at the end of every topic, exams to questions as well really really just want to hammer the message home that 
just use you with maths is so you're so lucky because there's so many resources online just type in cosgraph practice questions with answers or ask your teachers to give you some extra sheets literally practice with maths there is literally nothing you can do but practice and i know that's shit and i know it sucks but you just have to deal with it because it will get you the grade so I'm going to go through some YouTube channels as well that are really useful because I always found that if I was stuck on something in maths, watching a quick YouTube video or a quick video would help because I am a, uh, I very much like YouTube videos, they're my favourite way of revising. So yeah, I have a few channels but I'm just going to tell you the two main ones that like really help me. Um, I can't remember the name of this dude, okay, but he had all of the further maths spec and I think he had the main math spec on his channel I'm gonna link him don't worry um he was so useful for further maths not everything came to me as naturally as it did with normal maths um so throughout the year I used these I didn't use these to revise but when I didn't understand the topic I'd go home and watch the videos on it and it kind of helped me um he's really useful because he does he links like past paper questions to his explanation um he's really really good I'll link him down below the other dude that's great is Hagati. Hagati Math, is that, is that how you say it? I feel like everyone uses him, but if you don't understand the topic, sometimes it's really useful to have someone else explain it to you. Um, so I'll link both of those below. Hagati Math is really, really good as well. But those are two of the channels that I found most useful. Um, obviously don't just sit and watch the videos and think you're going to learn it. Do the questions along with them, like make notes, see where you're not understanding it and pause it, rewind it, watch it again. Just really be proactive with your learning and it will really help. The number one resource that most people find useful, and um, personally, I mean, I didn't really use it that much, but I know that so many people swore by it, is MathsWatch. Um, most schools are very nice in that they'll give you a MathsWatch login. Please use it because they have videos explaining, and I know the woman's voice is annoying, but you just have to deal with it, and you just really have to with maths. You have to understand that you can't just regurgitate, you need to be able to apply it. So these are very useful because they have practice questions, like the Hogarty Maths, and everything's listed in order of the spec, and I'm pretty sure they've got the new spec out now. So definitely, definitely, definitely be proactive and use that because it will really help. If you don't have Maths Watch login, beg people on Twitter, beg people on Instagram, beg people in the comments down below for a Maths Watch login because it's really, really useful. I didn't have it, so I just stole <laughs> one of my subscribers' logins. Thank you if you're watching this. But I found it useful, especially for some of the trickier stuff. And it will also tell you what grade, um, what grade it is, like what grade the the topic is. So if you're aiming for a C, you can just watch the C videos. If you're aiming for an A star, you can watch all the videos. But yeah, really, really do try and practice. That's the one thing I want to hammer home with maths is that you need to be able to practice it because honestly I don't think any teacher will tell you that you cannot do enough maths practice. Um, with the new spec I understand that you don't get a formula sheet. First off don't panic, seriously, honestly, if you've practiced the questions enough you will know those formulas off by heart, like I could still recite the quadratic formula to you if I needed to, don't worry about it okay. First off not many of the questions will require the formulas, second off you will learn them more than you think you do. But if you're really panicking about it, what I would suggest is go to your teacher, go on the website, look around, find a list of formulas that you need to know. Stick them around everywhere. Put on the front of your post-it note or on your revision card, quadratic formula and put it on the back. Every single time you pass that card, you need to recite it out to yourself. So like plus or minus, whatever it was, over 2a, I think it was like square root minus b squared, some 4ac, something like that. Um, and just put it out and eventually you'll find that it's second nature. You'll see the person and you'll be like, hey, I know that, I know that one, it's cool. But keep doing it, keep it in your mind um, and please don't panic about formulas, like there won't be that many questions that you need them for. Um, I really can't remember all of the formulas, I haven't done maths in nearly a year now, but just don't worry, okay? There's a lot of uncertainty around this new whole spec change thing and everyone's feeling it I'm feeling it for my A-levels you're feeling it for your GCSEs don't worry please I know that's so I just I, the reason I've done this video is not because I really feel like my math advice is helpful because really all you need to do for math is just practice until you are blue in the face but 
because maths is the topic that I think everyone just hates or loves and there's just no in between if you hate it please don't worry about it just get the six or whatever it is that you need and move on with your life don't focus on it don't let it drain your energy don't let it stress you out because you really don't need it maths is important of course but like history is more important if you want to be like a history teacher or like I don't know, language is more important if you want to be an interpreter, like you're not going to be doing like the square root of Spanish, are you? No. So don't worry about it. Please just practice. Practice makes perfect. Pass papers, practice. I really don't have anything else to say for maths and I'm sorry I don't, but it there is no case of trying to learn stuff and regurgitate. You just need to practice and you'll find that with practice comes an improvement. So I hope that this video was of some use. Um, this is probably my weakest revision video because I really just don't have many revision tips for math because there aren't many things that you can do other than practice. Um, but yeah, use all those YouTube channels, use your textbooks, use your revision guides, use whatever you've got and just go for it. And don't worry about it, please. Please don't worry. I'll see you very soon with a new video. Oh yeah, please request some more subjects. I've run out of like subjects that I can think of off the top of my head to do. So request some more revision videos down below and I'll see you soon. Bye. Mwah.